welcome back my name is priyendra kumar and in this video we will learn how to create a basic dashboard in power bi so as you are seeing my screen i have created a simple dashboard i have a simple data here uh, which is call handle date employee name login hour sales supervisor name target login hour and week so you can see i have created this dashboard by using these data points here uh, you can see i have given the average login hours and the target login hours is 8 and you can see uh, this gauge meter here similarly here i have created this toner chart to showing the calls handled by supervisor so overall calls handled 294k and this is the distribution supervisor level distribution here and similarly for sales here the overall sales and the supervisor level distribution is here in this graph i have shown the calls handled versus number of sales and this is the month on month graph and similarly here i have given employee buys employee name buys sales you can see the number of sales and the employee name so i have given the dummy data employee one employee two like that okay and friends uh, in this graph i have uh, used the drop down also so you can see if i will click on this button then this data you can see in quarter form this is the quarter on quarter data now if i will click on this drop down this is month on month data now okay and if i will click anywhere of any month like on january then you can see all the data will be filtered you can remove this and you can see the all the data is filtered now okay and uh, similarly if i will click anywhere on supervisor one then all the data is for supervisor one now even you can see the employee list now the employee name has been reduced because uh, under supervisor one only these employee and you can see this and similarly you can see the employee one data if i will click on employee one then this is the uh, data for employee one for entire year and this is month on month here i have given a weekly slicer if you want to see the data for any week you can click anywhere on any week and this is the weekly data now so i'll tell you how you can create these data points by showing this graph uh, so i'm going to add a new page here i'm adding a new page this is the page two so first of all i'll tell you how you can create this title creating this title i'll insert a tax box from here click here so now this tax box tax box is available you can resize this tax box as per the size of page now you can put your title here as i'm putting here basic dashboard in power and uh, you can align this as middle and just select press ctrl a and you can change the size any size whatever you want to take like that and you can give any font color let's say i'm giving this one which is yellow now you can give the background color also you can see the uh, this table is available here so click on the background enable the background first then you can give the color let's say i'm giving this black one you can see this is not a black color because of the transparency 50 percent so you can take the transparency as zero now our title is ready now we will create this gauge meter first to creating this gauge meter i will click on this gauge you can see a blank gauge is ready now i'll put the data here so putting the data in data field this is the data field so here i will select the login hours and i will put the login hours in value field and you can see by default it's taking a huge number because this is taking the sum of login hours so i will like to take uh, this average login hour. now you can see uh, the, this is maximum value is taking 
to add the target of login hours. So I'm putting this target login hours in maximum value column and now I'm I will take this average here. So let me see. Sorry, we have given it in minimum. So let me move it to the maximum value. Okay. So now you can see a chart is ready. Now we can format this by using this format. To formatting this, first of all, I would like to change the size of this uh, data label. So you can take first color as black of data label and you can change the size 13 or 14. Now I'll change the uh, this title also. So I'll go to the title and I would like to change the title also. I'll take this as average login hours. So you can see this is the average login hours now. And for color, I'll take this yellow color and uh, this background color, I'll take the black color. And the text size for uh, the, this title I'll take 14 this tag size and alignment I'll take this middle so this chart is ready friends now we will create the another chart and I'll take this one's uh, call handle by supervisor to taking this chart I will insert this donor chart from here this is the donor chart and I will keep it here now I'll insert the data in this donuts chart. So we are creating for calls handled. So I'll pick the calls handled and I'll move it in the value field. And now I'll give the legends. So legends I'm giving this supervisor name. So you can see the supervisor wise chart is created. Now we only need to format this to formatting. I'll go to the format. Now here in formatting, I'll go to the details first. In details, I'll select the label style and the label style. I'll take this category and the percentage of total. If you want to show the actual value, you can take category and data value. Then you can show the actual value. But this time I'm taking this one. Now I'll take the size, uh, sorry, color as black. And I also would like to change the size because this size is little bit of smaller so i'll take 13 or 14 you can take now i'll change the title also and we will keep the uh, same title which we have taken here the formatting of title middle and the background color black and uh, this font color as yellow and the size 14 like that so this chart is also created friends but you can see the this number which is coming in middle of this this is, this is the total number of calls handled so we will create this number by using a card so i'll tell you let me resize this first like that so uh, i'll go to the uh, so click anywhere in this seat and then go to the uh, visualization and here I will select this card this one card so I have created a card in this card I will move the calls handled in this field so you can see the calls handled is available here but I will remove this category so I'll go to the format and here you can see the category label available so I'll off this now only the number is available I will resize this like that and I will keep this in the middle of this like that so you can see now if i will click anywhere this number will be changed okay so uh, i will create another uh, chart the similar chart but this time we will take sales in place of calls so what i will do i'll copy this chart and paste it here to saving the time we will change the numbers only but you can see here i have taken supervisor uh, name will be there but only uh, calls handle will be changed and we will take uh, number of sales the sales in place of calls handled and will remove this so this chart is ready
the copy of this uh, card also copy and we will paste it here and i will keep it here and change the, the fields uh, here uh, the calls handled i'll take the sales so friends uh, you can see the similar uh, chart is created now now we will create the uh, this slicer sales by employee name and calls and deal okay so i'll tell you in the next part of this video so i'll request you to please watch the next part of this video to learn how to create this tree map and the this combo chart and slicer thank you so much for the watching